Good afternoon. It's again time for our daily two-minute uh, Bible reading and thought. I'm going to continue on through James for a while. Uh, James is a pretty good book to be reading. It's like the practical handbook of uh, following the life of Jesus Christ. But anyway, I'm going to read from uh, James uh, chapter 1 and the 13th and 14th verse. And James says, When people are tempted, they should not say, God is tempting me. Evil cannot tempt God, and God himself does not tempt anyone. But people are tempted when their own evil desire leads them away and traps them. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Yeah, I kind of like to put temptation in, in two different ways. There's those temptations that just kind of spring up in front of us. We're not expecting them, you know, but someone makes us angry. All of a sudden we're tempted to attack instead of figuring out some other way that we could handle the situation. And, and there's so many situations like that. And, and the best thing we can do is that, what I say, the, the uh, defense against those kind of temptations, simply take flight, avoid them, walk away from them. Walk away from them until we can sell our own minds down from the ones that surprise us. The ones that seem to be the most difficult are those temptations that are part of our heart, part of our mind, our desires with inside of us. Those are the ones that we really do need to attack with the wisdom of God. And what is the wisdom of God? God's word. That's what Jesus did when he was in the wilderness. Jesus in the wilderness, tempted after being 40 days and 40 nights without any food. And Satan said to him, turn these rocks into bread. And Jesus says, hey, it is written that you do not live by bread alone. You know, the body and the soul are more than bread. And then Satan says, well, go on out to the top of that temple up there and jump yourself off. And if you're really the son of God, you'll hit the ground and everything will be fine. And Jesus says, it is written. Again, it is written. God's word says, you will not tempt the Lord thy God. You will not test the Lord my God. We will not say, hey, God, I'm going to jump out in front of the bus. You're really God. You're going to save me. That's not the way we deal with life. We use the word of God. And finally, Satan takes them up and shows them all the kingdoms that could possibly be and says, if you'll worship me, I'll give you all these things. And Jesus is probably thinking, first of all, they all belong to me already. But second of all, it is written, it is God's word that says, you will not worship anyone other than the Lord thy God. You cannot serve two masters. You either love one and you'll hate the other. You can serve the Lord thy God and only the Lord thy God. And again, he used God's word, which is the wisdom of God. And, and, and we can do the same thing every single day. We can sit down and go through the Bible. We have something that's in our heart, something that's in our mind, and we know this isn't right. How do we fight it? We just read God's word until we find the answer. It'll be there. If we search long enough, we will find it. God's word, God's wisdom will keep our hearts pure. May God bless us. Amen.